Good morning, sweet friends. How are you today? I hope you're doing great. It is so beautiful today. Oh my goodness, the weather is just perfect, sunshiny and bright. And so we are going to be enjoying that today. But this morning, I thought that I would just put in a really delicious meal for Daryl and I today. And it is in my cookbook, my cute little cookbook. And it's on page 24. And I'm gonna be making best slow cooker pork chops. And it's so simple and easy, and I think you're just gonna love them. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna flavor your pork chops. I've already taken my pork chops and I have trimmed them and cut off all of the extra fat. I left a little bit, but not a whole lot. Okay, so what you want is you're going to need an envelope of ranch dressing mix. And I just, if you look, I put it like in a little shallow, this is a small casserole dish, and I've just put it in there because we're gonna be putting the pork chops in and just putting a little bit of flavor on them before we put them in the crock pot. So you need one envelope of the ranch dressing mix. You're gonna need a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and you're going to need a half of a teaspoon of just pepper. And I'm gonna mix these all up together. So I don't know if you, the, the light, it's so funny because if I video in the morning, the light comes through and I love it, but sometimes it casts a weird thing on the video. All right, so here we go. We've got that all mixed up. And then you're just going to take your pork chops and you're just gonna put them in and flip them a little bit. Make sure you get lots of flavor on them. And then I've got my crock pot right here and you're just gonna put them, let's see if I can get everything situated so you guys can see. Okay, so you just put them in the bottom of your crock pot. And you can see I've used that awesome liner. You guys know how much I love these liners and that is the box that they come in. Oh my gosh, it just makes the cleanup so easy. So again, here I am and I'm just getting my pork chops just flavored with that wonderful ranch and garlic powder and pepper. And I'm just putting them down in the bottom of my crock pot You guys doing okay today? I hope you're doing well. I am doing good. I was thinking of something today. I uh, was thinking about, you know how we talk about doing hard things. Um, I have a nephew who has been struggling to pass an HVAC test and um, he's worked in air conditioning forever and he wanted to get some certification and he called me the other day or we talked the other day and after his fourth time of taking this test, he finally finished it and or was able to pass it and he was so excited. And so um, I asked him, I said, what did you do when you got out to the car? And he said he just yelled and screamed. He was so excited that he was able to pass that. And what I was most proud about for him was he didn't give up, you know? Now the first one, yeah, go back and take it a second time, but he took it the second time, then he took it the third time, <laughs> and he kept going back. And he told me, he said, you know, Aunt Annie, I was never gonna not do it. And so anyway, I'm super proud of him. Um, it just opens up a lot of uh, doors for him and a lot of opportunities. So when we talk about doing hard things, it's not just about those really hard struggles. It's just like keeping on, keeping on. All right, so I've got a little extra in here. And so I'm just gonna put this over the top. All right. Now I'm gonna wash my hands really quick. Okay. So the next thing that you wanna do is, and this is so easy, 
we just want to put, <clears throat> I'll move this up just a little bit. Now we're going to kind of make like a little gravy that it's going to cook in. And so let me move a few of these things over. So I love to just get a bowl and I love these bowls. These are called Gorilla Bowls and they have this nice grip on the bottom. These are awesome. And you can find them under my favorites. Um, if you go to MissAnnie'sHomeAndKitchen.com, they're under the favorites and you can order them straight from there from Amazon and they're not very much. All right, so the next thing that you need is just an envelope of brown gravy mix. And really you can use any brand. It doesn't matter what you use. So I'm gonna put that in. And then next you need um, a can of cream of chicken soup. So a can of cream of chicken. Get my spoon. I'm thinking that those cute little, oh, here's one of my cute little spatulas that I love. You know I love the spatula. I'm gonna spoon this out first and then I'll use the spatula to go back and get the rest. Cream of chicken soup on the end of that. Okay. These spatulas are also under my favorites. I know I do talk about all this stuff all the time, but you just don't want to miss out. They're so awesome. Okay, and then you need one and a half cups of beef broth. And so I'm going to pour this in. And then I'm just gonna use my little, I cannot think of what these are called, whisk. Oh my gosh, you guys. Sometimes what's hap what happens is this camera turns on and I don't think I'm nervous, but I just say sometimes the funniest things on here. All right. So notice how it's turned really kind of into a gravy. Can you see that? So you get everything all whisked together till it's nice and smooth, nice and mixed up really well. Okay. And I'll pull my crock pot back. So I've put my crock pot on high. And I'm just gonna cook these for three to four hours. You can cook them slower. You can put them on, um, you can put the crock pot on low and you can cook it from, for like six or seven hours. So you just pour this right over the top. Okay. Get the rest of that in there, all that yummy goodness. And then you just put your top on and that's it. Okay. And I will be back after these are done. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, sweet friends, I am back and these pork chops have been cooking and they smell so good. Oh my gracious. Okay. So, um, the kind of pork chop that we got was just the boneless and thin sliced. And so they are really, really tender. You can always buy like bone in or bone out. It really doesn't matter. And either way, they're gonna end up being really, really tender. So I'm just gonna take this out and I've had to be really careful and I'm just gonna put it right here. I've made some rice and I'm gonna put some gravy on this. Now in my cookbook, it actually gives you directions on how to make your gravy thicker, but this gravy actually looks really just nice. And so I'm not gonna worry about it. You can use um, cornstarch and water. And again, that's in the cookbook. It just gives you some simple, you know, easy, uh, it gives you the easy directions on how to do that. Okay, 
So I'm just gonna taste this. I know that's a lot of rice for just that one little one little um, pork chop. But let me show you how tender these are. I can just cut it so easily with my fork. Okay. All right, so tender. And now I'm just gonna taste it. Do you ever hear what the sound of this gravy is? Mm. That is so delicious. I think you're just gonna love, love, love how easy it is to make this pork chops and gravy. So good. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are just enjoying my page, please like it and also make comments. I've mentioned this before, but Facebook just really loves that when you do that. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at Miss Annie's Home and Kitchen, and I'm also on YouTube at Miss Annie's Home and Kitchen. So my sweet friend, Angela Deaver, she has hooked me up in all the ways. She is an amazing social media girl. So you can watch any way that you like, your favorite way. So anyway, thanks again for joining me. Take care, everyone. Remember that you can do hard things and always have hope. All right, take care. I'll see you next time.